So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your part 2 of creating this calculator little app. And in this video we're gonna take a look at how we can actually go along and build the internals of our parent layouts which we have created in the last video. And uh, um, let's get into it real quick. So um, we can just create some buttons here by, as I said in the last video, by creating rows of buttons. So we're going to say styles.row here, right? So these would be our rows and we're going to need, um, I'm not sure how many, one, two, three, four, four rows right here. So we're going to say one, two, three, four, just like that. And for each row, we're going to need a button, right? So button title, and I'm just going to give it a title of, let's just say um, zero for now to every row just like that so we're gonna have one two three we're gonna have one two three and we're gonna have one two three and we're gonna have one two three there we are right and button is not defined very well let's just import this guy and there we are okay so um, what the heck is this? So what we want to do actually is display these elements inside a row, right? So I'm gonna say right here as a flex direction of row, as simple as that. So you can see we get these elements now, but what's the deal with them is that we want these rows to be equal in height all of them and occupy all the space so there we are that's a start and uh, what we can say is uh, um, if I'm not wrong justify content we'll have to take a look at this center align items stretch str-e-t-c-h or it could be other way around as well I'm not really sure yes it is I believe Um, okay, so we have um, just a content value of let's just okay, give it a center only. I believe there used to be a stretch. So, anyways, let's just say this is space around instead, so that we get nice little buttons, buttons like that. Okay, so now we have buttons. So what we want to do is basically add these operational buttons as well. So to do that again, we're going to make use of, and actually we can just kind of make use of the buttons here directly because um, these buttons actually are one single row. One, two, one, what the heck? One, two, and give me a second here. All right, one, two, three, four. There we are. And if we save this, take a look, just like that again. But styles dot operation, right? So what we're gonna do here is say that its flex direction is obviously column, but I want justify content as space around here as well so that we get something like that right so actually um, I guess we should just take a look at the docs to see what justify content here accepts and you can see that it accepts flex start flex end center space between space around and space evenly all right so how about if I want to stretch it, align items, stretch, S-T-R-E-T-C-H. I'm not sure, I guess it used to be somewhere, but it's okay, stretch. <laughs> okay, 
So, all right, anyways, so um, here we are, but <laughs> that kind of looks funny. We'll just revert it back to center at least for now. So, here we are with the basic layout. Um, what we want in here is for the result part text style styles dot result text right um, what we can say is just basically like one two one just like that and for calculation or let's just say 11 times 11 here and for calculation part what we're gonna do is say a similar thing style styles dot um, calculation text and again we are doing all of this in a single file but don't worry about that we're gonna take a look we're gonna learn how to split react react native code into multiple modules because that's essentially what you're gonna do all the time because that's a best practice actually just modularizing your code so calculation text what I want to do with this is uh, font size as 20 color as white and similarly to um, not really calculation text I believe to result text that's what I wanted so result text here we are for calculation text what I want to do is font size as 14 and color as white too and there we are so let's just increase this a little bit more 30 and let's just make it 24 all right so now we just want to just center align this stuff so I'm just gonna say a result right here if you see justify content um, flex and justify content is I guess um, when you're working with the flex direction of column it's kind of like it always confuses me it's kind of like justifies um, along the y-axis let's just see center align items flex and yeah so it, it was complete guess right so it just worked out just fine so we're gonna need a similar one on our calculation part as well so there we are here we go so this is the basic layout of our calculator right now I know we need to expand these buttons we're gonna take a look at that in the next videos and we need to change this content as well all along all these buttons and all these um, numbers should be right so yeah that's basically it for this video and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one